when you take these short meditation breaks, you really have to let go of everything else but the breath. All your thoughts leading up to now and the thoughts about what, it, what things are going to happen after you leave the meditation, just put them aside and be very strict with yourself. We sometimes get the idea that meditation is all about just letting go, letting go in an easy way, relaxing into the present moment. But it also requires developing good qualities. And John Fuhrman was not the sort of person to get involved in Dharma controversies, but that was one of the issues that he raised. One time he says, so many people say that it's just letting go, letting go, relaxing. But the Buddha also said there's developing. You look at the customs of the noble ones. You delight in letting go, but you also delight in developing. Developing good qualities, letting go of bad ones. That requires work. You can't just say, well, I'll be okay in the present moment, and the present moment will take care of itself, and everything else can take care of itself. I'm not, I don't care. I'm just going to be right here. That doesn't work, because what you do in the present moment will have an impact on the future. And you have to think about that. What kind of habits are you developing here? If you're developing good habits, okay, that augurs well for the future. So remember, the meditation is work. I mean, work to get the mind to settle down and be still. There is a sense of rest and refreshment that comes when the mind finally does settle down. And sometimes it will settle down easily, but other times when it's not so easy, you don't say, well, today's a bad day, I'm not going to meditate, or I'm just going to sit here and watch a bad mind state. You watch the bad mind state with the purpose of trying to figure out what's wrong and what can be changed. This is not just a matter of acceptance. You accept where you are, but this is where you start from. Beyond that, you have to accept the fact that the present moment has lots of potentials, many of which you haven't explored yet, in terms of nourishing the mind, getting the mind to be really skillful, to be really alert, to have more energy. Those potentials are there. Accept that fact, too. You realize that it would be a shame if you would let those things go to waste. So as you sit here for a few minutes, be really strict with yourself in developing as many good qualities as you can and letting go of every little trace of something unskillful, something that doesn't really have anything to do with the meditation. This is a time for 100 percent. When you talk about quality time, this is the real quality time. This is the time that you give your full attention to what you're doing and trying to do it skillfully.